Is it the case that there are people who claim that the polarization that you detected was a consequence of the interaction between light, the light you're observing, and dust that's spread out in the cosmos? That not a consequence of this early gravitational of these early gravitational waves? So this is a very, very important chapter, not only in my life, but it's it, it will be talked about in future years as an example of how science actually gets done. And it's the subject of my first book, Losing the Nobel Prize. And it's the story of how scientists can become obsessed in this case, the scientist is me. It's a memoir of my career trying to detect these early reverberations of the universe's space-time structure in order to see whether or not inflation or an alternative took place to ignite the hot Big Bang that we do observe and have stacks and reams of evidence to support. So the existence of matter, the existence of the CMB, the existence of galaxies and expansion, those all support the fact the universe in an extremely hot and dense state early on in its history, but they don't provide the mechanism by which that came about.